Am I still bearish on Bitcoin focused on my lower targets? Or in fact, now with the new data and market structure change that we've seen with these higher highs and higher lows, are we actually updating our bias to fit to this new market structure and looking for prices above $27,000 plus dollars to come? Inside of the video today, in this video, I'll be telling you the new bias that I have, the trades that I'm in right now and what we have upcoming for the week ahead. And also I want to spend a few minutes talking about the new UK crypto regulations. This may or may not affect you personally, but it will affect the cryptocurrency space in general. So we are going to spend some time talking about that today as it is very important. But I'm going to be remaining focused on the charts, the trade center, exactly what we're looking at for the weekend and week to come. So yeah, I want to pick up where we left off in a few videos ago, okay, and how we saw this large rise and the drop, okay, forming another higher low, okay, because that gives us the context of what we're doing now and what we're looking for next. So we obviously had three important pivots that formed this low, moving on to this high to form then this higher low. And this was off of a naked point of control that we had from this area on Monday's price action. From that naked point of control bounce, we had two extension targets the one-to-one -one, and this is the 1.618 fibonacci extension as we can see <laughs> that was the high in the end but this is what i was talking my team through yesterday had the first option of shorting the weekly but we simply got no bearish reaction at that weekly on the one-to-one -one. so for me you know no bearish reaction there's no short trade to be had we continue to look higher and the next target is simply the 1618 at twenty six thousand eight hundred and fourteen dollars upon hitting that level I actually told my team, this is the short trade. We've got enough of a bearish reaction for myself to take this short trade. And then we actually went into a, a two and a half hour long live stream with myself, Ash and Igor, uh, the three of us talking through the charts. And I was then explaining again why I've shorted Bitcoin at this high. We actually ended up like going sideways here for <laughs> around an hour during the stream uh, where we did start to form some bullish CVD, but I stayed in that short trade. And as we all know by now, that did play out very nicely with an incredibly quick drop to the downside. Um, so, yeah, that was obviously a nice short trade. We hit a take profit one and a lot of members uh, managed to make a lot of uh, very nice profits hitting their take profit on that trade along with us. But of course, now we've seen how we have started to get that bounce right where we formed quick rise drop forming a higher low where here is our next subsequent rise to the upside and it reminds me very much so of the price action that we saw back here okay on the around the 18th of september where we formed this move of a rise drop into a higher low another rise to the upside so it's like i'm seeing here with the rise drop and then another rise to the upside it's very similar price action in terms of here on the 18th we saw that rise you know sideways price action quick drop subsequent rise it's very similar what we saw back here with the rise sideways price action drop okay into another higher low here was the higher low and now we're working our way back up uh, right now we're being slightly held down by the range point of control so you don't want to really open a trade into that long into a range point of control but that's what we're up against right now as you can see so if we flip that then we can definitely be looking for this fractal to bring prices back up to above twenty seven thousand uh, dollars but yeah right now we're up against that range point of control um so we've got a few uh different options so it's obviously the, the question of am i bearishly biased looking for lower I, I would say right now we haven't seen a major sign of strength on the higher term time frame so on the higher term time frame i do believe that we can actually be looking for another drop but on the local term time frame we are not so you know bearishly biased it's more of a 50 50 scenario where i would be happy to see another rise to look for a short position at a, a more of a, you know a better area of value or a long to look for a drop because I've said it before, but I still do believe that at some point we will take out these highs at 27,400. So I am looking for new highs to be made above this. Okay, pushing it up to, you know, if we break through those highs, I still do really believe that we can get that quick squeeze to the upside to 29,400 to the higher target at 30,400. This for me is still on the cards. It is still definitely on the cards that we're going to push up here. It's just for me, those are short opportunities when we get up here. So one thing I want to make very clear to you is that a higher term time frame bearish bias 
uh, does not mean that I'm going to be shorting, um, you know, <laughs> at lows unless I get a very good trade setup. So like this was a good intraday trade setup, which I shorted. And it obviously, you know, we all know it played out very well. But again, I'm not shorting down here at 26,000. I waited for the rise to 26,800. OK, and then we got the drop lock and take profits. Well, now it looks like we're going to make a new high. Right. So I'm um, a higher term time frame, bearishly biased, but I will only still short when we get nice rises in price. So for me, that is, you know, very nice rises in price for the very big targets. Twenty nine thousand four hundred thirty thousand four hundred. I would love to see above 30K. You know, I'd really love to see that because I feel that's the best short trade opportunity I could be given. OK. Um, more locally, though, I'm going to be looking for, um, you know, a, a smaller rise, of course, and more local opportunities, which I'm going to go through now. So where we could look for the next long opportunity. Uh, first of all, though, before I get into that, I do want to just mention these U new UK regulations. Again, I know not everybody's affected because not everybody <laughs> lives in uh, the United Kingdom. But even if you don't, you know, this can definitely affect the market. And that is, you know, there's a lot of new crypto regulations coming into effect uh, that essentially are trying to lock. I, I would say they're trying to really ban cryptocurrency trading. Uh, so this is obviously very unfortunate, uh, but it is what it is, right? And so now Bybit have, you know, listened to these new regulations. A lot of the other exchanges haven't yet. Um, you know, because exchanges try and get away with it for as long as they can until they're they're forced to comply with regulations. Right. So it's like not every exchange has KYC. Uh, eventually they they will. But, you know, it's kind of, a, you know, try and last as long as you can without without <laughs> complying. So by are complying with those regulations. So you will not be able to trade. Uh, on Bybit if you live in the UK. Uh, obviously, I am KYC with my UK, um, you know, UK passport. So this does directly affect me. So there's a few options that we have going forwards. And I have posted this uh, inside of the group. Uh, but I'm going to share this with you here, right? So we have uh, these options, really. And that is uh, an RNS ID, which is essentially a um, a digital ID, as you can see here, that you can actually use for KYC on, you know, including cryptocurrency exchanges. So this is a, an option for getting a digital ID for KYC, essentially. So we can stay on like our favorite exchanges. So that is one option. I'm going to give you all of the options just so you're aware. Um, so if you would like to, you know, not take an ID verification route, then you do have the option of using Femex, which is an exchange that's been around for a long time. We've obviously traded on Femex. We've done competitions on Femex. This is an option of, you know, this is an exchange that doesn't require KYC. So there's no KYC required on Femex. So it's just a nice, simple exchange. A new exchange that I've been looking at and like is Bing X. So this is a nice because, first of all, it doesn't require KYC. They do allow Americans. They do allow UK citizens. So it's, that's a positive as well. But the biggest one is that it also has stock trading as well as cryptocurrency. So it's primarily a cryptocurrency exchange. You know, you can trade uh crypto but a nice little bonus that you actually have here is you can also trade stocks so you can trade you know coinbase stock apple stock tesla stocks uh the es you know you can do all of your stock trading on here as well so this for me was a really nice find um you know whether you want to be trading trb or whether you want to be trading apple you can do it all from bing x so this for me was a yeah, I find that I'm very content with, actually. Um, so I would just say this. If you are interested in checking out these exchanges, of course, we always try and get uh, you all watching this for our community uh, an extra special deal. Unfortunately, we couldn't for the RNS ID. So that's just your standard price. But for Femex, you know, we have that always have that $200 deposit bonus. But the best one of the three that we've managed to secure is till the 10th of October. Uh, you can actually win an iPhone 15. <laughs> yes. And get up to $5,000 deposit bonus uh, via the Chart Champions affiliate link, which we will leave obviously on our website 
website. If you go to the deals page, you can check out these deals. Also a VPN if you need it. Um, you know, you can get that all from our website. I'll also leave it in the comments and the description down below. But really simply for uh, being eligible for the iPhone 15 and the other bonuses, um, the, the deposit bonus for $5,000 is simply by depositing, right? Uh, but then to be eligible for the lucky like raffle draw uh, where you get draws and then you spin the reel and you see what you win that's via trading volume so as you can see here for every three thousand dollars um you know you get an extra ticket for the for the raffle and you're actually guaranteed the iphone 15 if you trade a very high amount of volume by the way so uh as you can see here you also are going to be getting the iphone 15 pro um so yeah this is a, a pretty good um deal that we've managed to secure so if you're interested in um you know femex being X, then we have got deals for you, which I'll leave in the description down below. If you want to go for the RNS route, uh, then of course we don't have a deal for that, but you know, you're now aware of the option. So, uh, yeah, that was talking about the UK regulations, what that means and you know, what we can be looking for going forwards, uh, moving it back to the technicals then. So in terms of a long trade setup, of course, we still have this weekly zone down below us, which is around 25,800. This would be a very nice zone if we get the bigger pullback. More locally, within the local range that we have, we are, of course, looking at this daily. Um, for me, though, you know, when I compare the two, this has got a lot of confluence. This has one level of confluence. So I'm obviously, in terms of the better trade, you're always going to be lining up for more confluence, uh, higher probabilities. So that's just something to bear in mind. Uh, locally here, where we are at this range point of control, I personally don't feel that you have a very good short right now. The reason why is because this for me is considered more consolidation under resistance. So we are at the resistance of the range point of control. If I pull it again for you right here. Okay, so from our current price action, okay, to the start of the range, which for me, okay, actually sits here around the 21st of September. You can see we're, we're, we're basically consolidating below this resistance. So that for me isn't really the type of reaction that I like to see um, to want to jump into a short trade. So for me, I'm, yeah, they don't, wouldn't, wouldn't be taking the short here off of this next test. I prefer to see a uh, lower for a long trade opportunity or break through this with the consolidation and look for the next short trade higher um i again i will s say this I, I i would i personally would like to see move to like twenty nine thousand four hundred. so i don't want you to be confused thinking oh what daniel saying he wants to see twenty nine four hundred. he's ultra bullish no because twenty nine four hundred to thirty thousand four hundred is still a short opportunity for me uh, but to see that rise gives the best short opportunity, right? So if you want to short the market, you always want to try and short the highest price possible. So that for me would be a very good bonus to see that rise. I would be very content because that for me is the best opportunity. Uh, it might not come, of course. I might not be granted it, but I would love that to happen. Um, so in the short term, I do believe that we will take out these highs. So, you know, the best case scenario, we get our amazing long opportunity of the weekly. Of course, if these levels don't hold, let's say we blast straight through the weekly and we make our way down. Well, that's when we can be looking back down towards, you know, much lower prices below 24,000 again. But as that hasn't happened yet, we just got to trade the charts on what's happening. Currently, we've got this fractal here with the high into the higher low. Make another high. We've got the exact same price action playing out here, right? With that high low looking to come up and make another high so we'll see if that fractal plays out take those highs and come back down or whether we can actually get the bigger breakout now towards the daily again this is all based off of the reaction the order flow that comes in live in the time i would always give my opinions first and foremost always to the champions that's where you can get in on these type of calls that's where you can see the live streams and uh you know understand when to lock in take profit because it's always one of these things right you can get into a really nice short trade but if you don't lock in take profits then um you know, you, you throw away profits and you can turn a winning trade into a losing trade. So if you want to know when I'm taking trades, if you want to see when we're taking profits, you know, the best place to get that is always going to be uh, the champions group via chartchampions.com. So you got daily live streams, every single day live streams. You got the dedicated altcoin streams, uh, educational streams, live trading streams, AMA streams, roundtable streams, trade recaps, everything that you need basically to make yourself into a profitable trader from the education to the live trading to the journaling even. So yeah, we got everything for you. Uh, so if you want to see more of that, you know where to get it, Charles. 
www.champions.com where you can also of course check out the new deals page where we do have that femex option the vpn option and you know going into that new uh stock market website being it well it's a it is a cryptocurrency exchange foremost um but you know they have the option of stocks which i do think is very cool so if you want to take advantage of those deals that we got i'll leave them in the comments down below and uh, let's see if you uh can win an iphone 15 let us know if you actually win the iphone 15 that would be very impressive send us a photo and uh, <laughs> i'll be rooting for you all uh so yeah leave that down below thank you ever so much everybody i hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed and uh yeah i'll see you over inside of the discord cheers thank you and that's me signing out goodbye